Hello and welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Confidential on Golf.com. I'm Jessica Marksbury and joining me in studio today, Alan Bastable of Golf Magazine, Golf.com's Michael Walker and Alan Shipnuck of Sports Illustrated via Skype. Some interesting news that came out this weekend that we need to talk about today, guys. The PGA of America has said that it would consider taking the PGA Championship to an international venue, maybe once or twice a decade. Alan, I got to start with you. Is this a good or a bad idea? Somewhere in between. Um, you did mention that it's the PGA of America. Uh, I mean, I, I think that keeping the this tournament domestic makes sense for a historical standpoint, for continuity of, of the schedule. And there's a lot of great courses in the United States that we need to explore. Um, I would love to see the World Golf Championships become more global. Uh, I'm all for expanding the game's reach and, and seeing new parts of the world. But I like the PGA here in America where uh, it always has been and I think it always should be. Alan, I think that's a great point. For one thing, who are they trying to please, I think, with this idea? A lot of guys wouldn't be too happy, I think, about traveling internationally multiple times in a year for a major. Yeah, that's a good point with all the traveling the guys are doing now, especially now with the Ryder Cup and President's Cup, the Olympics coming down the line. I don't think the idea of having to travel to Malaysia or China or Vietnam to play the PGA would, would thrill a lot of players. Um, you know, I'm with Alan, and I think, on, I think on the rating standpoint, I think it would be a terrible idea, too. I mean, you look at... There are a few international events. I think people would wake up at 6 in the morning to watch the Olympics, the World Cup. I don't think the second round of the PGA Championship is one of those. <laughs> so I think just from a sheer marketing rating standpoint, it's, it's a really bad idea. Uh, see, I, I admire it. I mean, I do think golf's become so much more international, certainly over the last 20 years. And I mean, I do think from an identity standpoint, I mean, the PGA Championship has become the sort of fourth major U.S. Open light. I mean, I feel that this would really give it a distinct identity and a recognition that, I mean, so many of our top players now come from abroad that I think it just makes a lot of sense to have. We have two majors in the States, one in the U.K. Why not have one kind of open up to the world? Don't you think having a single course, though, I think about what makes the Masters so great, right? Obviously, we all love Augusta. We love going back there year after year. We know the course. I, don't, I think that one of the majors having that single course where we go back to, you know, the U.S. Open, for example, the PGA, I think that might actually be a good idea, get people excited about the course every year and more familiar with it. Yeah, I, 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 I like that idea. I, I don't know about going to a single course, but I, I like what the PGA is doing, going to courses that we haven't necessarily seen. Whistling Straits is a good example. Uh, Beth Page Black, I know there's been a couple events there now, but they're going back there in 2019. These are events that are, are sites that are exciting to watch. People want to see Kiwa Island's another example. They just play well on TV. You know, there's a lot of history places like Oak Hill, Medina. I don't love watching those events on TV, so I would rather go to a more exciting, splashy venue. I think the PGA has done a good job with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, Alan Shipnick will agree with me. I mean, I'd like to see the U.S. Open get back to Pebble every five years instead of every ten years like they do. I mean, I do think, like you say, the Masters being associated with that course, and why don't we have a sort of stronger association with the courses that the U.S. Open and the PGA are played with? Absolutely. So, right. Alan, always, before you answer, conflict. if international venues are not the answer, how can we make the majors more interesting? How can we improve all of the majors in general? Well, I like a tighter rotation of classic courses for the U.S. Open. I think if you went to, to Pebble and, and Oakmont every five years, uh, that, that would make sense and, and go in the direction of the Masters where you can really identify the courses. I think the PGA should go back to match play. You know, they, they did that for decades. And... Uh, you know, people are afraid of match play from a TV standpoint if you don't get a couple of marquee players in the final, but there'd be nothing more exciting or dramatic than two guys going at it for the Wanamaker Trophy. Yeah, there's a lot of rich history associated with match play in the PGA Championship, and it would certainly help differentiate that tournament from the U.S. Open, where sometimes it seems like a pale imitation. So uh, if they're thinking, you know, visionary steps to upgrade the PGA Championship, I think match play is a solution. I love the idea of match play. And we have a World Golf Championship for match play, but it just doesn't seem to have the right prestige, even though it's become a huge event. Yeah, I mean, match play is always tough on TV, as we know. You start to eliminate players and get down to a smaller number of players. That's, that's tough to execute. There's really only one major with, with the prestige and the purse strings, I think, to work internationally. That's Augusta, the Masters. They build a, a replica Augusta National, is my proposal, in London, <laughs> Beijing, Paris. 10 or 12 cities across the world, uh, preferably in a dome. So you have, the, you have the exact same conditions that you can replicate from uh, Augusta, Georgia in early April. 
The other solution, Tiger Woods, play well on the weekends. It's been, it's been 28, I think in the last 28, weekend, 28 rounds on the weekends, he's, he's broke 73 times in the majors. If he plays well on the Sunday, Saturday, you got a much better major. Of all the ones to go internationally, like, I mean, Augusta, you know, you'd need the trees, you need everything. I mean, with the, with the Lynx courses, you really need the ocean. I mean, everybody has the ocean. I think that one, too, is the one, they call it the Opium Championship. They're always reminding us it's the championship of the world. Take it, take it overseas. Take it to Australia, where they have great courses. Take it to Japan. That's the one that seems to me the most sort of ripe to take overseas because of that identity they have as the world's champion. But Augusta National is in every city in the world. I mean, that would, that would be a beautiful thing, too. My question, what about the club pros? Those guys are going to have a real hard time going overseas. It's hard enough for them, I think, to take a week off and <laughs> travel and stay for, I guess, maybe they'll do it for the PGA Championship. I don't know. I think the PGA of America has the money to, to, get, <laughs> to get those guys overseas once a year, so I don't, like, I don't think that would be a huge hurdle to cross. Well, Alan Shipnuck, Alan Bastable, and Michael Walker, thank you so much for your time and insight today. And thank you all for joining us here on PGA Tour Confidential on Golf.com. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.